Postgres 15 is about to release in just a few months. Uh, from this article, it sounds like there is a great performance enhancement, especially we're focusing today on the sort in Postgres. You might say, Hussein, what are you talking about? I never sort in the database. Well, whether you like it or not, Postgres always almost does sorting in specific queries such as order by group by you know things i didn't even know union apparently you know certain queries require sorting if you don't have indexes but that's a different story you know so sorting is very common operation and if i can do it faster like what Postgres 15 proved to be my queries will run faster let's find out how much this will uh, improve the performance uh, so this comes from Foronix, my favorite new news depth technical depth you know website you know I, I really absolutely love it you know so how about we read a quick blurb and then discuss the postgres 15 database server will be releasing in a few months and is yet another major release to this open source relational database system when it comes to performance an injury from microsoft is the latest one Talking up Postgres 15 performance, you guys, I don't know if you have noticed, but Microsoft in the past, I believe, 10, 10 years have completely changed. You know, they started contributing to open source. They adopted Linux, where previously they fought the idea of Linux. Now they contribute to open source. They have the best editor, Visual Studio Code. You know, it's completely And now we have, they dedicate resources to contribute to a competitor database. You know, Microsoft has SQL Server, yet they have employees contributing to the Postgres open source database. This is a completely different new world, and I absolutely applaud them for this. This is really great, you know. Just Postgres is a great database. SQL Server is a good database, to be honest. It's like I use it on a daily basis, too. So we have David Rowley from Microsoft contributing to the Postgres uh open source repo with this great performance so what what is let's read the, this blog rowley concluded in his blog which i'm going to reference below this is the detailed blog with numbers and charts and every single fix that they made how much did they improved the first test i ran uh, rowley said while working on reducing the memory consumption of sort improved performance by 371 percent that is insane number you know now does that mean that you're gonna get this number we'll talk about this I, i'm not quite sure that every query will get this obviously that's not true this was due to the reduction in memory consumption required for storing the records to sort no longer exceeding my work in memory setting so if you don't know work memory is a configuration in postgres that defaults i believe to four megabytes and this memory is used to sort stuff so if you're doing an order by assuming again no index on the order by column then the database will use this working memory which is the default is four megabyte to start sorting stuff you know doing the all the cool algorithms you do in the interviews right quick sort and bubble sort or whatever sorting algorithms so if you don't have enough memory the database have to spill of this stuff back to disk and that's what uh, rowley explains yeah so if you have lower you're sorting a 10 gigabyte table yeah that's gonna take some time if you have a small one so what's the solution we'll increase the memory that's one way to do it but you, sometimes you're limited on the server side you can't really increase the memory plus there you have thousands of concurrent transactions so you you play devil advocate and allocate resources in a certain way so what they did is they improved that memory consumption when it comes to sort so is that they don't take as much memory in postgres 14 15 sorry compared to postgres 14 so that was one of the fixes so if i if i my sort takes less memory that means my work memory can stay the same and my entire sort will be done in memory and as a result the moment you if you do everything in memory it's going to become faster so this is fascinating stuff so let's go through the uh the 
the blog here just really quick just uh, talking about the things that might improve here so what will improve is aggregate functions with an order by clause again if you're using order by that the database has to sort right because it's going to order that column that given that obviously you don't have an index on that column because if there is an index by default the index is sorted right so i just walk the index and read the columns that way now i'm not sure if the database will always use the index right there might be cases where the walking the index it will be slower if there is a lot of you know jumping back and forth and you have a lot of other queries reading other indexes you know that might the plan might say you know what it's not worth it reading seven indexes and doing a bitmap scan and then jumping to the heap let's just do a sequential scan and sort right or sometimes uh, i believe the cursor type and that's that's true for sql server the cursors are whether it's static versus dynamic versus key set versus fast forward it really depends on forces you to you to sort or not some some cursor types forces you to sort you know some for cursor type says hey you can never sort you have to use an index and as a result uh, the query might fail actually but that's that's another video for another day group by queries same thing to do a group by you need to group the values and in order to group you need to sort right so if you have an index you don't need to sort but again adding an index is it's not really sometimes you might say okay i'm just gonna add an index to everything yeah, eh, sometimes it's not worth it it's like i'm gonna add an index just to optimize this query that i'm gonna run once a month is it worth it adding storage for this index adding overhead on my inserts and adding write amplification because you're going to use a postgres postgres is infamous for write amplifications so yeah that might be a little bit overkill adding indexes so definitely postgres 14 15 so i keep saying postgres 14 postgres 14 with the sort ab, ab, amazing you know this is definitely going to be valuable queries with a plan containing merge join uh, if you want to merge two relation joining two relations uh, sorting sometimes is required now i'm only familiar with hash join i don't, I don't know much about merge join but i believe merging joins will require a sort hash join i don't believe it does it's just a hash right union queries this is a completely new to me union why would union query require a sort I haven't thought think i didn't really think about it but um maybe I'll, I'll run some tests but i couldn't explain why union would require a sort i don't know what, what do you think guys let me know distinct makes sense right if i want to if i want to get the distinct values i need this column to be sorted and i'm gonna or group by which requires sorted and then i'm gonna pick the first value from each group that's a distinct that's one way to implement this thing right and obviously partition by and order by right as if you want to partition if you're partitioning in certain i believe in ranges then that's also sorting is also important in that arena and yeah guys i'm gonna list uh this is the all the four the four changes that may made the what the the summary of the changes is like let's use less memory if we use this memory, we can fit my stuff in memory and things can be faster when run in memory, right? So these are the changes and these are the beautiful charts that he did comparing Postgres 14 to 15. Fascinating stuff indeed. And finally, this is the list of uh, release 15, that all the changes that they did. The server, the partitioning, the indexes, uh, uh, optimization to the optimizer. Uh, general performance all this stuff i'm going to reference all these resources in the description below guys what do you think uh, are you excited for postgres 15 let me know in the comment section below i'm going to see you in the next one